Mark my vid, take a call now. Yeah, rockstar, heavy metal, no guitar. Why you pay so much for your Nissan? Because it's GTR. What's up today, guys? Today we're gonna do another build. I haven't done a build on Horizon 3 in a while, so I'm gonna make an Adam LZ build. And I'm just gonna make his 240. Everyone knows this 240. It's like the most iconic 240 on YouTube right now. This is so let's production. just head into the garage and get it started. Okay, let's just go to conversions first. He does not have an engine swap. He has a SR. So no need to do an engine swap. He does have a turbo. Single turbo, so that's sort of that one. Of course, no drive strain. No, um, not the Rocket Bunny body kit. Okay, engine mods. He doesn't have the most horsepower. It's a good amount of horsepower, I would say. Let's do fuel injectors, ignition. Not get too crazy. Okay, let me just go to displacement. He does. He doesn't not. He does not have a stock block. Upgrade that. Pistons. I mean, he does have a lot done to his engine. But it's not crazy. I'm not sure if he has an upgraded flywheel or not. Uh, I know he has upgraded valves, valves and springs. Cam, I know that. Uh, let's say around there. Oh, I know, of course, exhaust. I know he's having a full race exhaust, but let's just throw that on. Turbo. He does not have a fully upgraded turbo. He has a smaller turbo because he doesn't like the turbo lag. You know, when he's drifting, that's just a bad thing. Brakes, he has CTSV brakes. Can't throw those on, so race brakes are the cl closest thing. For brakes, for brakes, he has CTSV brakes, but they do not have those as an option to put on the 240. So I'm going to have to throw on race brakes, so those are the closest thing. To CTSV brakes. He has uh, BC coilovers, so race springs would be closest. Roll bars, I know he has all that. Roll cage, definitely. A full roll cage. Weight reduction. Yeah, he does have a stripped interior basically. Let's throw that on. Clutch, let's just go with. Uh, sport clutch Tranny I'm not really too sure if he has upgraded transmission or not But I'm going to throw on sport transmission This is really good for drifting Drive line uh, Let's do a street drive line And then a full race dip Okay tires Let's throw on street tires because you. This is a drift build I'm pretty sure he has like two 35s on the front and something similar to like two 55s on the rear. This is a Chucky Beat production. For wheels, let's try the closest thing. They might actually have these wheels. Okay, guys, I'm just I'm gonna go with these Wed Sport SA 70s. Not the exact wheels, but they're kind of close. So I'm gonna go with those. Pretty, I think he has like 17 inch wheels. You're to okay, for body kit, they do not have that, uh, what is it, Eans Plus body kit. They do have an Eans Plus body kit, which is, I guess you would consider that the closest. Maybe that, uh, no, it's too free. Yeah, let's go with the Eans Plus. For Wayne, he has a Type X Wayne. It's like exaggerated. I forgot the real name of it. Not that. <laughs> Not a rocket bunny. I just always keep it stock. Oh, body kit. He almost has something like that, but it wouldn't really match up with the rest of the body kit. So let's go with Ins Plus again. And then Ins Plus to match it up. Okay. Okay, now for lights, the most important part and most iconic thing that uh, makes the 240 so cool is the cream, the cream paint. So that's about cream right there, but let me tune it a little bit. 
maybe a tiny bit darker. Just the slightest bit. Okay, about right there. Okay, now for wheels. His wheels are completely white. Put on here. Uh, so not really white enough. Let's go here. Matte. Lower the saturation all the way down. And bring this up. And there. Okay, now for tints, I believe he doesn't have the darkest tint. He might have like uh, 50%. Not too sure. Not the most, though. Yeah, that's it for paint. Okay, guys, now for tuning. Let's go here. Now, what we're going to do is raise the tire pressure. I don't know the exact tune that Adam has on his car, so I'm basically just going to throw on a drift tune. So, raise the tire pressure a little bit to about 34.5. Now, lower it, lower the front tires to about, uh, let's say, like 28. For gearing, uh, it's, it's kind of optional, but if you want to make the zero to sit a little faster, or the top speed higher, to move it, say around here, it's good. There's it's in 4.6 seconds. That's pretty realistic. Oh, he does have negative camber, but not too much. So it's the front. Uh, negative 1.4. Well, uh, it's uh, raise the toe to out about 0 0.8 degrees. And now let's raise the angle caster to about 5.9 degrees. Okay, now for anti-roll bars, let's raise uh, the rear. You're listening to Make it stiffer. And lower the front. Let's make the rear stiffer on the springs. And then... Well, let's make it soften this a little more. And there. Let's lower it to about 6.6. .6. Are you a little lower? Cause Adam's car is pretty low. Okay, damping doesn't really matter too much. I never usually um, tune that. Okay, let's put the for brakes. Let's move the pressure to the rear and let's raise it uh, for the diff. Let's almost lock it. Make the acceleration 100 and then the deceleration about 80. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Not perfect. I just noticed that the wheels kind of don't look that white right now. But the paint is pretty uh, close. Let's see if this thing drifting. And brake. See right there, in second gear, you gotta really keep the uh, keep it high in the RPMs because the turbo will stop spooling and you get a lot of lag. Handbrake. Control the throttle. Ah, lost it. Very smooth at drifting. But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I guess this is the Adam OZ240 build. I'm really planning on doing some more builds as you guys really seem to like them. So uh, give me some ideas below what car to build. 
it can literally be anything. I'll see if I can build it on Forza. I know a lot of people are uh, playing Forza 7. I promise I'm trying to get Forza 7, but I've been saving up for Need for Speed Payback and the uh, pre-order so I to play it early so you guys can see that really early. But I'll try to get Forza 7 because I know everyone wants to see Forza 7 gameplay. But uh, thanks guys for tuning in and uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.